covers everything from gun violence to social justice. Now, this determined L.A. poet is sharing her gift to help make a difference for others. Eyewitness News reporter Annabelle Munoz introduces us to Sierra Leone Anderson. Sierra Leone Anderson has a bright smile and an infectious laugh. <laughs> the 15-year-old describes herself as a scholar, determined, loving, and honest, as evidenced in her poem titled For Uvalde. There are too many children in paradise whose names become memories, whose stomachs go limp like sidewalks, flowers sobbing into soil. Boy becomes fertilizer. Girl becomes ground. American fruit has always, always been, been sour. sour. She dedicates the poem to the families and communities in Uvalde impacted by the murder of 19 children and two teachers and all victims of gun violence. If anyone reads this poem, whether they're a youth, whether they're an educator, whether they're not, I really want them to be afraid. I really want them to be scared of how kids are living now, of how we've lived for a very long time, and then I want them to actually do something about it. She began writing poetry at about age 12, when her teacher implemented the Get Lit Words Ignite curriculum. Something charged in my body, and I just knew, like, oh, this is something I'm going to do for a long time. It's a nonprofit organization that brings literature, spoken word poetry, and visual media to students. She now helps teach poetry to other students through Get Lit. Hi. I'm Sierra Leone. The organization and her community shape her art. When I write about issues, I think about that. I experience this one thing, but what's behind it? What are the layers to peel back? That's something my mother taught me, that everybody, every situation, everything has layers and roots. She loves telling stories, including the one behind her first name. I'm named after um, a country in West Africa. And Sierra Leone was a place that freed enslaved Africans went to take refuge. They wanted me to have a spirit of rebellion and to really be rooted in freedom and to be a freedom fighter. The daughter and poet is also a community organizer. She's part of Students Deserve LA. We've done a lot of things in the past, but right now we are focusing on fully defunding LA school police and reinvesting the money into supports and services for black youth. Sierra Leone says she is not a special person, but got opportunities through Students Deserve and Get Lit. Success largely has to do with not talent or passion, but really the opportunities that come your way. Opportunities she wants all children to have. Especially our inner city schools, the low income schools, schools with the highest majority of black and Latino students have an opportunity to at least experience poetry and filmmaking. Annabelle Munoz, ABC7 Eyewitness News.